Can we do a test run now? Yes, sure. Let's do it. It all booked up. So uh, first, let's put on some load. So the load bank is connected to the outgoing brake of the system. So this is self simulating the telecom equipment. So uh, as if you want to come over here, tell them, you'll see that we currently don't have any load on the system. The jet load is zero uh, volt amps. So now we're gonna turn on, uh, let's say about a hundred amps, which is a typical load level for the system. And, all right. Breaker. So now we have a hundred amps going on it. So if you want to come over here, we'll uh, see the load. As you can see, now we have 98 amps of load, and before the state of charge of the batteries was 29.9 percent so uh, as of now for the testing we've set it up so that when the state of charge of the batteries reaches 25 percent the dc generator will start up and when it reaches uh, charges back up to 30 percent the dc generator will shut off so we want to do a full simulation of a cycle to make sure everything works well so on the generator itself, uh, this has a, a comprehensive control panel which has uh, all the information about that we see on the computer as well, like the state of charge here. And we can also go into monitoring and see the power, the current being drawn out 98, 99, 100 amps. And that translated to watts is about 5 kilowatts. So that's the typical maximum load of a telecom tower. So that's what we're simulating. And like I said, so this is the DC generator. This is the engine. We have uh, a 20 kilowatt Perkins 400 series engine, variable speed, so that it performs uh, at the most efficient speed and fuel consumption. And if you want to come over to the other side, the battery system and we have finally uh, the DC generator on this side. So this is the other side. So this is the DC generator. It's a permanent magnet DC generator that uh, gives out between 48 and 56 volts as uh, the controller requires to charge the batteries. Alright, come on. So we have uh, the battery has gone down to 25.5 state of charge. So it's going to start up in a few minutes. I had to increase the load a little bit so that the batteries drain faster. Now it's taking about 120 DC amps, which is about uh, closer to 6 kilowatts. And if you come over here, Caleb, you'll see. So uh, now we are at 25.3. Uh, like I said, we'll have a quick look at the batteries. Uh, so yeah, it's taking up 117 amps, close to six kilowatts. And now if you go here, uh, this also has the amount of kilowatt hours that's gone out and come in. And this is the battery voltage of the system. It's 49.6 volts. So now it's 25.1%. When it goes to 25, it will go into pre-start mode and start the generator. You see? This is the amount of charge that's going into the batteries. And this is the total load on the generator. So the actual load is about 6 kilowatts. And uh, it's charging at about 10 kilowatts now. So the total load on the generator is 
is no break in the load the load continues to be supplied by the batteries and the engine stops after it cools down so uh, it's basically a hybrid system uh, and also an uninterrupted power supply